Um, in case you're just joining us this I, morning, I wondering what you're looking at, this is a live happening in Ottawa. This is the Ontario Taxpayers or the Federal Taxpayers uh, Association who are handing out their annual awards called the Teddies, which they award for government waste. You see a, a pig and a, a woman dressed up in a glamorous gown handing them out, meant to simulate an awards ceremony. These, of course, are tongue-in-cheek. We caught the tail end of the ceremony, but our Andrew Nichols has been listening in all along from the newsroom. The last award that we heard out, which I imagine, Andrew, is similar to Best Picture, so the biggest award, of course, going to MPs for their golden pension plans. What else, what else did we yeah. hear from the Teddies okay, today? Okay, so I was listening uh, and trying to jot it all down. There were a lot of nominees and, and winners. Uh, uh, in the provincial category, just for instance, there was a Newfoundland and Labrador MLA that had spent $30,000 in cell phone charges. That was a nominee, another nominee from Atlantic Canada and Nova Scotia for uh, some of their MLAs uh, expensing Xbox Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, in British Columbia, they were another nominee. They paid their civil servants to volunteer at the Vancouver Olympics, paying taxpayers saying, wait a second, volunteer? Isn't that when you do something for free? Uh, and the winner of that one was uh, the Nova Scotia MLA expense scandal. As I said, they bought generators, expensed big screen TVs, iPods, a 400 dollar uh, bag, computers, but then the federal government, this is interesting, one of the categories was to bureaucrats who paid 1.5 million dollars for hotel rooms that were not used. This was for the Francophonie Summit in Quebec. Uh, and for Federal Public Works, this is another interesting one, uh, they sold the Queen's Silver, so I guess it's called the Queen's Silver, $4,000 and then paid $100,000 to get it back. Uh, also, uh, a story that made a lot of news, Emery, I'm sure you'll remember, uh, the Mint, the Royal Canadian Mint, spending $1.4 million searching for missing gold only to find that it wasn't missing. Um, and uh, the Peguis Reserve uh, in Manitoba, band ma members paid themselves more than the Prime Minister of Canada, uh, $439,000. But the winner uh, at the federal level was to members of parliament and what they called junk mail. This is what they called propaganda mail that went out uh, $5.9 million and all of this during a recession. The municipal award went to the city of Toronto, uh, where 100 people acted as homeless people to pay uh, uh, to try and have an, uh, an audit of homeless people in Toronto. So uh, there you go, Anne Marie. Uh, interesting and long list of uh, <laughs> awards. A little tongue in cheek, but the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. They are a, a, a serious group of people, but uh, one way to kind of uh, poke fun, I guess. Uh, uh, at, at some of the expenses made by politicians at all three levels of government. Yeah, you and know, bureaucrats. It's a, it's not you can't get any more fun than a pig in a tuxedo. Yeah, there early you go. In the but not necessarily fun when you consider that, if, from their perspective at least, this is a waste of taxpayers' money. And not so fun when you're a taxpayer, Andrew. Right. Thank you. Okay.